Hey, what's up, everyone? Happy Pizza Tower listening session for you, for all of you. And yes, we have a question right now in the pinned comment. What is your number one pizza topping and why is it pineapple? <laughs> yes, so today we're going to be listening to all seven songs from the noise update from Pizza Tower. Yes, this is a live stream. This is not a premiere. <laughs> Just in case some of you are wondering, we did this stream last week with uh, Portal 1. And some of you were wondering if this was a live stream or a premiere. This is a live stream. Yes. And say, say hello to our mod today, Parlnok. Hello, Parlnok. Bring the noise. Because pineapple and pizza is delicious, especially with ham. I actually, actually cannot deny that. <laughs> All right. Are you ready, chat? Are you ready? So again, uh, just some ground rules. I don't like any lore dumping, context explanation, nothing. We're just going to go with pure music. And that's how I like it. I like to use my imagination. And also, uh, what is it? These live streams, these reaction live streams are also filmed, filmed offline. And will be edited at a later date to be a proper YouTube video. But I will keep the live streams open because I, I guess some of you like the more casual, unedited format based on your comments from the first reaction stream last week with the Portal 1. And I appreciate that. Thank you for letting me know what your thoughts are. I know that some of you are more used to the edited videos without the ums and the ahs and the pauses. <laughs> so I will just, you know, keep both things for those of you who prefer both. And also, hello, Hawk6 Phoenix. We have two mods today, Parlnok and Hawk6 Phoenix. Behave now, chat, because these are my trusted friends, and they are not afraid to use the ban hammer. All right. Before we start, I always use War or Thousand March as my sound check level song. So let's vibe with some Thousand March before we start the proper listening song. Very nice. Good job, chat. Thank you so much for spamming the pizza into chat. I love seeing that. Love seeing that. Thank you so much, chat. So again, I'd like to I'd like everyone to say hi to our Triforce of mods. Today we have Parlnok, Talidar, and Hawk6 Phoenix. We have a complete Triforce of mods. What conditions? I will discuss that another, another time. But today, we're going to be focusing only, only on the noise. Yes, there are seven songs in the noise update. And I felt like, oh, that's like a nice, good one, one episode for a stream. So yeah, are you ready, chat? Are you ready for some noise? <laughs> yeah, by the way, somebody asked. Somebody said that I make a VODs channel. I do actually have a VODs channel for Twitch. But I have I actually have at least three or four other channels that I manage. But I no longer want to do that. I'm trimming down everything to just one channel. This channel. And now YouTube makes it easier because now when you go to my video, when you go to my channel tab, there's now a separate tab for videos, shorts, and live, which makes it very convenient. All right. I'm going to start recording now. Record has been hit. So today, we are going to be listening to the seven songs of Pizza Tower's noise update. Seven new songs, some of them 
totally brand new and some of them i believe are remixes like i see one of it a four minute version of unexpectancy i'm actually excited to hear that so yeah oh by the way before we start one of our mods parlock is a huge fan of pizza tower just like you so yeah one of you one of you <laughs> all right Let me just hydrate before we start. All right. So lovely seeing you all here. Let's have some pizza music. This is the noise intro. It is only 12 seconds long. That was like a very interesting 12 second journey. I was, I was immediately hit with like an epic synthetic 80s vibe. But then we were given a little taste of what sounded like pizza time, but it's not really pizza time. It was like, da, 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 but it's a, da, da, da. <laughs> a little bit of a twist. Very short and sweet, but we're going to go to the meat of the soundtrack now. This is called Distasteful Anchovy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Let's go. Oops. <laughs> Hair maintenance. I'm very conscious about my hair. I want, always want it to look cool on video. All right. That is amazing. That is a total bop. But it also has this very Pizza Tower-esque sound quality, compositional quality. There's, there is the presence of this wall of rhythm, like fast, hyper rhythm. But then there's the presence of this simple, repetitive melody, reminiscent of its pizza time. Dun, dun, dun. But this time... Dun, that is so Pizza Tower. I mean, if you listen to all of the songs, there's always this 
simple one-liner melody that is very catchy, very reminiscent of all those EDM hits on the radio. For example, I could think of Crazy Frog. You know, there's always this one catchy, simple melody that the minute you hear it, you can immediately sing along to it. But then you're treated to another wall of danceable rhythm. It's funky. It's, uh, what is it? Happy and funky. <laughs> that was very interesting from a very 2-4, very EDM 2-4 count, 2-4 uh, meter. There's this momentary change to a 3-4 meter, but it's very subtle. Groovy. Wow, <laughs> that was quite the trip. I can immediately see that this is a twin song to It's Pizza Time. It practically has the same exact arrangement structure. Not identical, similar. It starts with a slow buildup of tempo. We even see the hello there. But instead of using the light motif of It's Pizza Time, we're gonna call it Pepino's theme for now. What I can see right now he, uh, is in this tasteful anchovy, we're gonna call it the noises light motif just for the sake of this discussion. But it starts with a slow build up of tempo and then there's even like a rhythmic break in the mid, in, 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 there's like a rhythmic break in between. And then it speeds up and even uh, speeds up even more. That is exactly the structure of It Speeds a Time, all, only using a different melody and a, using a different instrumentation. But the structure, the pacing, it's the same. So it's a twin song, if you will. Very nice reference. Yes, you are here live. I see it. I see it. All right. The next song is called It's Worldwide. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. It's, it's the next song is called Worldwide Noise. Pizza Time Boyos, yes. By the way, I do like anchovies on pizza. Although it has to be with, I don't know, peppercorn, something like that. Whew. Let's go.
wonderful rhythm. Alright, wonderful melody, wonderful chord progression, and really, really catchy bass line. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Love that, but also kind of reminds me of Chun Li's theme. Again, it's that distinct floating melody, very clear, precise melodic line that you can separate from the rhythm, from the noise of the rhythm, the chords, and the bass line. They're all like happening all at the same time, like whammed in your ear. But because of the wonderful mixing, the wonderful songwriting, the wonderful melodic writing, you can still hear the distinct melody, and it's wonderful. Oh, of course, Amen Break, very, very traditional EDM. That middle part, that middle part, oh my God. The reason why that is so amazing to, to listen to, uh, what is it? It's like a staircase of rhythms. It's like a, not, not staircase, what's the best term? It's like a Tetris. It's like a Tetris block of rhythm. In music, we call that interlocking rhythms. It's mostly done by separate tracks or separate musicians. They are playing only beat number two. Musician th three is playing only beat number three. Musician one is only playing beat number one. And musician four is playing number beat number four. Each musician has their own assigned rhythmic pattern that when you listen to it alone, it sounds nothing special, but when played together in perfect sync, in perfect rhythmic sync, it's like, it's like you're playing Tetris, but every new block that comes is a perfect fit for the next one, dug, 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 dug. And that is called interlocking rhythm. So imagine if you have an ensemble of 20 musicians, each with their own individual rhythmic pattern, and then you make them play together, like in an Afro-Cuban batucada ensemble or any Latin jazz band who have their own distinct, very solid rhythm. And, and you hear it, everyone is like playing in sync. But since everyone is like placed in a different location and you're just being fed this wall of rhythmic patterns, 
in a in a very nice interlocking rhythm. It's just amazing. It's overwhelming to listen to. It's very impressive. And that is exactly the feeling I got from that. The interlocking of the vocal patterns, the 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 vocal the, what is it? The vocal rapping or the vocal rhythmic vocals, the percussion, the bass drum, the bass line, everything is like fully in sync and that is like if if you look at that in a, in a in a digital audio workstation if you look at that the, the track in the digital audio workstation or in a midi you're probably going to see that it's like a this connect the dots thing and you play it all together it's a wonderful wonderful cacophony oh my god yeah this is wonderful thank you so much for for suggesting this All right. Shh. Oh my God, this sounds sus. This next one is called Impasta Syndrome. Oh. This sounds very sus, chat. Sounds very sus. We're gonna, we're gonna listen to it anyway. Parappa the Rapper. I play Parappa the Rapper one and two at least once a week with my daughter. We play it as a bonding way. All right. Oh my god, this sounds very early 90s stadium rock. I'm gonna enjoy putting violin in this one particularly. A little Daft Punk homage. I love it. I don't know why, chat, but this is both so hyper, nostalgic, and emotional all at the same time. I think it's a combination of it being Daft Punk style, and I'm so, so, so a huge fan of the uh, Daft Punk's music, and I'm also hearing a little bit of uh, synth rock, synth metal style. I love it. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. That is a great example of a song where it's all about the vibe, the rhythm, and the chord progression. There's barely any distinct melody. 
And I didn't even notice it because I was just so vibing along to the textures, to the rhythm, and to the chord progression, especially, I think, so far from the songs that we listened to in the Noise Update, there's this... The, the new favorite of the composers or the producers is to use this subdued um, synth chord patch that you press one key and it plays like a minor chord or a major chord depends on the need of the song. But, but, but wow, that is, I think that's my favorite so far. And it, it, it's also very much helped by the fact that it does feel like an 80s, a late 80s or early 90s new wave metal, kind of reminiscent a little bit of the pitch mode, but there's a there's a hint of early Aerosmith and then Daft Punk. In short, all my favorite artists are like mashed up in here. And that's why I guess I got emotional because, oh my God, this is so nostalgic. This is so new, but this is also kind of familiar. And wow, that is the power of music, chat. Without even knowing anything what's going on, what, about, what this stage is about, the power of music, especially well-written music, is just, is just so powerful. It will hit you in an abstract way without you understanding why, but it will happen. It just happened to me right now here. Ah, here we go. Speaking of familiar, this is a gacha remix of Unexpectancy. Interesting. Interesting. By the way, I've interacted a little bit with the uh, composers of Pizza Tower. Um, I think there's three of them, at least three of them, and they sometimes comment, <coughs> sorry, they sometimes comment on my videos, they sometimes talk to me on Twitter, and they're very cool guys. Very cool, no ego, and they're just cool dudes. Whoa! Uh, do, do we really have 475 viewers? That in, it's, that is insane. And also thank you. All right, let's continue. This is Unexpectancy Klasky Jito Gacha Remix. So Unexpectancy is, of course, that nine-minute masterpiece from the original base game soundtrack, which I have a full cover of, by the way, a violin symphonic metal cover. If you haven't seen it yet, and I added my own compositional touch there as well. Now, we're going to listen to a remix. Very excited to very excited to hear this because I pretty much immersed myself on the entire unexpectedly song for at least 2 to 3 weeks because I was very much familiarizing myself before I started arranging it for my own cover version. So, I'm very excited to see how they changed it. Oh, that is the start of part three in the original.
That's a new one. It's the anchovy motif. Wow! I have to admit, I was kind of expecting more unexpectancy motifs to come in, but I think I only spotted like three major appearances of the unexpectancy, uh, unexpectancy themes. The intro, and then, and then, this rhythmic vamp that was leading to part two to part three. But the rest of it was new. The rest of it was new music with some motifs from the other noise update songs that we listen to. Like the one I recognize at least is the distasteful anchovy uh, light motif. <laughs> But, but the entirety of it, again, the, 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 <laughs> again, thankfully this is going to be edited and recorded later. The entirety of it is, again, a signature Pizza Tower song, Pizza Tower track, which is the presence of hard-hitting wall-to-wall -wall rhythm, funky bass line, ultra-fast, ultra what is it? Ultra fast and ultra filled rhythmic patterns. Just wall to wall rhythmic patterns. But then again, in the midst of all that, of course, 
some car alarm had to, to sound when I was having an epiphany right here. Curse you, car alarm. Anyway, as I said, this is a wall-to-wall -wall rhythmic, highly rhythmic song. But then again, the Pizza Tower signature is injecting a singular melodic line on top of it. And that is pretty much the signature classic Pizza Tower sound, which I love because it's it allows you to vibe. It allows you to vibe as as much as you can, but also allows you to sing along. So it, it's the best of both. It, it's the best of both worlds. Ah, we got a couple more songs, chat. The best song is coming. Ooh, it's a five minute, almost six minute song. Shh, I haven't played you yet. All right, chat. Let's see why you're saying the next song is the best one. And I thought the previous one was the best already. Let me just fix my in-ear monitors. By the way, if for those of you who are wondering why I'm not why am I not wearing headphones? I am actually. These are all sneaky earphones called in-ear monitors. This is called This is called I need a noise. I guess whoever was making that car alarm noise preempted the title of the song. <laughs> Holy wow, 620 viewers. Thank you. All right. From again from the begin beginning. Pizza Tower noise update. I need a noise. I could have sworn I would expect Phil Collins' voice to sound next because this is like his drumming style. Talk box, huh? I could, I swear, I could imagine a Rocky Balboa fight training montage right now happening in the background.
Damn. Oh my God. Before I continue playing, oh my God. Let me just say, this is an 80s synth playground. They're just having fun with all this old school synthesizer sounds, especially the synth bass, funky sounding synth bass, crispy sounding. And that reverb, the way they sounded, the, the, the way they mixed the reverb with a vocaloid, with a talk box vocals. Ah, magnificent. There's that lead guitar that I've been uh, looking for because there's lots of lead guitar in the bass soundtrack, especially in its Pizza Time and, and Unexpectancy, the original. So I was like, yes! change. Okay, before I continue, I just, oh my god. I just like to say that that is the kind of lead guitar line. Simple, singable, but there's a lot of heart to it. That's, there's a lot of emotion to it that you can't help. If you're the guitar player on stage, and you're playing that line that we just heard, you can't help but just bend your back and then look at your bandmates and then, yeah! That's how I feel, that's how I feel at least. Street Fighter 2-esque melodies right here. Wow! Love that melody. Love that melody. Oh my god. And also, amazing use of a vocoder effect. So some of you may not be familiar, but that is a vocoder where you attach a microphone, make it pass through a synthesizer or a keyboard, and then you sing, or more technic or technically, you recite, even without singing melody and you let the keyboard play the notes for you. So if you're playing the melody of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, you play that keyboard, you play Twinkle Twinkle Star on the keyboard, on the piano keyboard, but you just vocalize. You can just say blah, 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 but the, 
the keyboard will make the melody for you. So it's kind of like a speed hack to singing in tune. You're technically speaking through a mic, but you're letting your finger through a synthesizer play the melody for you. That is, that is, how, they, that is how they do that vocoder effect. It's supposed to be the noise singing. I can imagine that. I can imagine that. <clears throat> that is a wonderful song. But yes, chat, keep the chat on topic. We're only doing Pizza Tower noise update today. I will not be entertaining song suggestions to other soundtracks because there's a proper place for that, and that is in the content suggestion Google form in my video descriptions, in all my video descriptions. So far from what I've heard, I think we're going to expect some 70s funk hippie rock. <laughs> We have a Discord as well, but I prefer the Google form because Discord is more for casual chatting. All right, chat, we have reached the end of the line. This is the last song from the Noise soundtrack update. This is called New Noise Revolutions with a Z. <laughs> And by the way, I don't do reviews. These are not song reviews. Reviews are a format where you leave a score at the end. I just vibe to the music and nerd out. But I don't review them. Because there are some of you who are confused about that. <laughs> These are not song reviews. These are just nerding out sessions. Thank you very much. And right now here, live on stream, we are nerding out together. <clears throat> All right. Yes, 70s hippie funk rock. Drum, live steel drum. I love it. Gives it immediately gives it that Jamaican beach flavor. God, that is a different application of that light motif. I love it. Very consistent light motif application in the whole update. This is a song for a live studio audience, or not actually, this is a song for a live stadium audience. Everyone clapping and just repeating the lines after you.
that was a wonderful chill section with lots of tasteful interlocking textures. I love it. This is a party. We got a proper rap, like it. <laughs> what? We got a proper... We're gonna edit that. We're gonna edit that properly. We got a proper rap. <laughs> Why is it so hard to talk? We got a proper rap. Love it. <laughs> I love that. It's all about the vibe, the rhythm, and the party atmosphere. If you notice, there's not one single flashy musical line in all of that. Yes, there's a very cool, simple sounding rap. Even the melody, dun, dun, da, dun, dun, da, da, dun. it's an entire band just inviting everyone to party along to them with no ego, just pure fun. I love that. And that is the noise update, chat. It's Noisette's fault. Very interesting. Thank you so much for vibing together. To, thank, you, thank you so much for vibing together with me, everyone. I appreciate it. I appreciate your company. And I love all those uh, pizza tower references, all the pizza emotes, and all the just fun vibes. Thank you to our wonderful Triforce of our mods, Parlnock, Hawk6, Phoenix, and Talagar. Thank you so much. Is there one more? What one more? I think I saw at least a couple of you saying there should be one more song. But we've already listened to... Uh, noise Intro, Distasteful Anchovy, Worldwide Noise, Imposter Syndrome, Unexpectancy Gotcha Remix, I Need a Noise, and New Noise Revolutions. There might be a song not in the playlist. Let me investigate. Noise Jam, oh, is that the 30-minute? I'm not going to react to a 30-minute song. Not here. Oh, okay. I see one. It's a two-minute song. Oh, okay. I see it. I see it. Thank you, chat. I got you. I got you. It's a two-minute song. So the 31-minute video was just an, an, edit, uh, an ending loop someone uploaded. Good call, chat. Good eye. But first, before we continue, hair maintenance. So I would look cool on a permanently recorded video.
No, we only I only prefer the officially released soundtracks. Any alternate versions or whatever's remixes covers I don't really like. I don't really like that. It's like reacting to deleted scenes from movies. They're nice Easter eggs, but they're not really the main thing. I only like the main thing. It is important to look good on something that is going to be permanently on YouTube, of course. All right. One more song. This is the Noises Jam Packed Radical Anthem. Radical Anthem. Very intriguing. Let's listen. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I love about the arrangements and the compositions in Pizza Tower. These talented composers, they know when to rock. They know when to vibe. They know when to go funky. But they also know when to go chill. It's always important to have a bit of a breather because you can't always go running. You can't always go hyper all the time. Can't be Christmas every day, or it's not special anymore. You can't have funkiness or hype all the time. Otherwise, if everything's funky, nothing is funky. That is like the most unexpected kind of melody, light motif. It's very chromatic. It's meant to catch you off guard. A little bit of a flavorful dissonance, if you will. Speak about, speaking about Chill. This is ultra chill. Yes. That was wonderful. That was a good balance of singability, funkiness, chill, and an overall good balance of both of it. Especially... I love that electric guitar as always. The electric guitar leads, the lead, the electric lead guitars in what I've heard so far of the Pizza Tower soundtrack, they are some of the more emotional ones. Uh, they are technically easy to play. I can play them immediately if, if I want to, but it's not all about being easy or being difficult. It's all about does it fit the song? Does a simple lead guitar 
fit the song or does it need a more flashy one? In most cases in the Pizza Tower soundtrack, it's all about the vibe, it's all about the funk feel, and all about the, the emotion. So there's no need to be flashy, although they can be flashy, especially in some of the parts in Unexpectancy and Pizza Tower, uh, in Pizza Time. But yes, this is wonderful. Thank you so much to you for letting me know that there's one more song. All right. Three, two, one, and cut. And here's the most important part, chat. Let me just check if everything was recorded accordingly. Sorry, sorry. And I love all those. Perfect. It was properly recorded. Everything is in order. <clears throat> Move it, boy. Is that another noise update? Is that part of the noise? Or is not? Or is just that? Move it, boy, huh? Move it, boy. It says here, unused character select song. It uploaded one year ago. But then there's another Move It Boy that's been uploaded eight days ago. Which is it? If this is just a cut track. They re-added the song. All right. It's existed, or yeah, I see it. It was uploaded last year. Let me see. I don't see a proper upload. It was added officially in the update. <clears throat> All right. Is this the one? Is that the link? Is that the one? The one that the link that I posted in chat, is that the one? I see two yeses only. Two yeses out of 540 viewers. <laughs> Link is the green guy. That's unused. That's the one, yeah? All right. I see a lot of yeses. Okay. Looks like you're getting what you're... What, looks, like what, looks like you're getting what you wished for, chat. We're going to hit record again. One more song. This is called Move It Boy, originally an unused track in the base game and has now been added in the noise update. So let's check it out. This is called Move It Boy. I feel like being scolded by Kratos. Carnival monkey organ? <laughs> Move it, boy. We're gonna do a song that you never heard of the song.
80s orchestra hit. Very nostalgic. There is the light motif. <laughs> again, there's the light motif again. Dot, 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 dot. Are you ready? I like this constant chip tune rhythm. It adds a little bit of retro flavor to the more realistic sounding rhythm section in the background. How? How is this a character select theme if it's so funky and danceable and you're selecting a character to play? How can you even press the start button? How can you even continue playing the game when there's this wonderful funky music playing right here? Character select? More like I don't know. <laughs> I lost a pun. I was about to say a pun about something, but but yeah. And I, I understand, uh, I can see now that it's a character select theme because it stays as a short loop. I can see that it's a short loop. It stays on one tonal center, so it's just meant to be listened to in a short span of time. Nothing complex, no key changes, no radical section changes or arrangement introductions. And it's because it's a character select screen. It's meant to be simple, short and sweet. But man, with that kind of music as a character select screen, or even if it's not a character select screen, music, it's just a wonderful, danceable, funky tune. Yeah. And I believe I will also enjoy adding violin to that one. Yeah, the violin jams will be done offline in my proper recording setup because I changed how I record stuff lately. Let me just check the recording. It should have recorded as well. Yep, everything recorded properly. So let me just label this Pizza Tower OST Noise Update Reaction Part 1.
always label your footages immediately. Reactions. Perfect. We have eight songs and one 13 second intro. All right. I think that was it. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, yes, I have done that. Machise. You can actually watch back in the VOD once I finish streaming. Actually, you can actually do that. That's a wonderful thing with YouTube. You can backtrack on the video immediately. <clears throat> Noise update was noisy. <laughs> yes. So, what is your number one pizza topping and why is it pineapple? <clears throat> uh, to tell you the truth, to tell you the truth, chat, this today is like a historical milestone for my for my streaming career. <laughs> this is the first time we've ever I've ever reached a 600 plus viewers. That is not a front page promotion. I was once in a front page event on stream on Twitch, which is a different, different thing. But it was like a platform promoted thing. So naturally, you'll get lots of viewers from their front page. But this is like you just came in here simply because of your love for Pizza Tower, our love for the Pizza Tower soundtrack. So I am very grateful to all of you. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for vibing along. And I hope you were eating pizza or maybe you had your favorite drink. I will plan again for what the re next reaction stream will be. But this is the plan. All right, chat? This is, this is what I'm envisioning. This is what I'm envisioning. So uh, there are some video game soundtracks that are good for like one episode of a stream. For example, the noise update. Uh, has like nine songs. That's good for a one. That's good for a one stream event like this. Last week we had Portal One, which had twelve songs. That's also good enough for a stream stream episode. But for example, Portal Two has like thirty plus songs. So I don't think that will be good for a stream episode because it's simply too long and 30 songs i think that will take five hours of a stream i don't want to stream that long i can only have the energy to have a two hour long stream maximum <clears throat> so i don't want to push myself because i'm kind of wanna watch my health and so should you and it's, I don't think it's necessary. So, 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 so if you have, so ne next time, now, now that, that there's a lot of you who are here, and if you like to suggest either in the comments or in the Google suggestion form on the video description, you can now sometimes distinctly suggest, oh, can you react to this 10 song soundtrack on a live stream? If it's like 10 songs, maybe even 15 songs maximum, I think that can be done for a live stream. But the moment a soundtrack goes beyond 20 plus songs, I'd rather just film like three songs, that, the usual thing that I do, film it offline or film it on Twitch and make it an edited video instead. I'd say retro games are perfect for those streams. Livian are not. That is a great suggestion, actually, because lots of the retro streams, uh, retro streams, re retro games, especially the NES ones, have very short, have shorter soundtracks. Like, for example, Contra, Mega Man, Mega Man 1, Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. Can I react to the entirety of the Legend of Zelda? I think the point of doing a reaction video 
is to listen for the first time to the songs. But it, when, it, when it comes to games of my era, games that I play, games that I own, and game soundtracks that I listen to every day, such as the entire Zelda series, Legend of uh, Elder Scrolls, Oblivion, Morrowind, Skyrim, Hollow Knight, all the Mario Galaxies, all the Mario games, I listen to those soundtracks every day. So I don't think it's going to be a genuine reaction series because I already know those songs. They're already familiar to me. Anything that is going to be like an epic part in the song, I already know that it will happen. It's no longer going to be a surprise. You could just wipe your memory, if only, right? If only. If I could wipe my memory, I would love to wipe my memory of Witcher 3, Elder Scrolls 4, Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon Forbidden West, so I could experience them again, fresh. Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. But yeah, most of the time, chat, any Nintendo game or F Square Enix game, I play those games. I play those games most of the time on day one. For example, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, pre-ordered, played on day one. So those kinds of soundtracks are already going to be built in my system. So I don't think it's going to be a good reaction content. However, they can be good as another type of content like a musical breakdown or a musical analysis focusing on themes that were used or something like that. I have some videos coming up about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. For example, there's been some discussions about that Oscar's speech or that what Nobuo Uematsu saying that video game music sounding like cinematic music is wrong or the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth having a new version of musical implementation that is that solves the problem of JRPGs from decades ago. Yeah, I have some videos like that. Toho music, I I I I I can do some reactions to Toho music, but I am familiar with at least five Toho songs. Oh, you love the Friday Night Funkin' shirt. I did, I did wear this on my Friday Night Funkin' covers. I have four covers from the Friday Night Funkin' soundtrack and even have an EP on Spotify. So yeah, chat. If, if you want to hear my actual music, me performing, you can find my covers also in the same YouTube channel or you can look for my albums on Spotify, String Player Gamer. Ultra Kill... I already have three videos on Ultra Kill. And yes, more coming. More coming. But I, I try to take it slow. I don't want to overwhelm myself with just one soundtrack. With soundtrack. I like to mix things up. Uh, and the reason for that is I don't want to be stuck to one franchise. I don't want to be known as... Okay, so there was one time Undertale came out. Every music channel, every music cover channel started releasing Undertale covers. And a lot of us re reached monumental heights in our YouTube channels because of Undertale music. I was one of those. And I kind of pushed it too far. So for, a long for the longest time, my channel became an Undertale channel. And then the moment I started uploading non-Undertale stuff, it flopped. And that's why the, that's the, one of the reasons why I don't want to uh, I don't want to be hammering down just one franchise anymore. So I like to mix things up. Of course, yes, there's going to be some fan favorites like Terraria Calamity. You all love that. You all love the Pizza Tower. And I see that you're also loving the Ultra Kill and the Team Fortress videos. Left 4 Dead 1. 
So, of course, more of that coming. But again, I want to mix it up. I want to mix it up. But yes, thank you so much. There's a huge announcement coming soon. There's a major rebrand going on in the channel. But more on that later, I will make a proper announcement video on that. I will not do it on a stream. <clears throat> I should. I should, huh? I should listen. I should listen. <laughs> I've, I've seen some co suggestions for Plock. Metal Gear Rising. I think Metal Gear... I think Metal Gear... <laughs> I think Metal Gear... Metal Gear. I think Metal Gear Rising Revengeance would be a good stream episode what do you think uh metal gear how many songs is the metal gear rising revengeance ost let me check Twi oh 29 videos 29 songs okay that may be, that may be too much <laughs> that may be too much for one stream but wow the viewership for metal gear rising OSTs through the roof, three million views, and the lowest is for three hundred thousand views. Yeah, that's that's a banger of a soundtrack. Definitely a banger of a soundtrack. I would definitely want to properly put some research on that before I dive in. <clears throat> Sugary Spar. I I I know it's a fan game, but I prefer to focus more on officially released games. For now, most of the time, I think Terraria was like a big exception simply because of the, f of the fans' passion and the soundtrack is just out of this world. So, Pizza Mayhem, we'll see. I only like officially released. I'm not really a fan of fan-made games, to be honest. <clears throat> That's just like reviewing covers of songs. And I don't like to be reviewing covers of songs. <clears throat> anyway, let's see. Yeah, I think it's time for me to have my pizza time after stream. And I would really love to, to see you again on the next stream, whenever that is. I won't be making a proper schedule. I will just announce a YouTube stream 24 hours by scheduling it. But I won't, uh, I won't force myself to follow a proper schedule because frankly, I tried that before and it just burnt me out. But yes, I really appreciate your company. Thank you, thank you so much to our wonderful mods, Parlnok, Talidar, and Hawksex Phoenix. Can you give some clap emojis or some rounds of applause for our wonderful mods for keeping the chat healthy and wholesome thank you so much i think i have a tim fallen series coming up i'm i'm planning a series of videos there's there's lots of plans there's lots of plans but i'm taking it slow i don't want to rush myself but there's a there's a plan called there's a plan. Uh, there's a planned video series called "Bad Game, Great Music." That's the clickbait. So even the thumbnail, you can imagine, it's my 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 face, which is sad, holding a controller. And then on the other side of the thumbnail, me with headphones, smiling. Bad game, great music. <laughs> But yeah, I, I, I know there's a lot of Tim Follin work in that kind of category. So we'll see. That's Ever Grace. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. Have all the pizzas. Have all the great food. Uh, have... Pineapple toppings. Plock, is it? I didn't say it was Plock, Dr. Evil. Don't assume. Don't assume. I didn't say it was Plock. You're the one who said that. 
I'm not afraid to call out shenanigans when I see it. <clears throat> Have you, I ever listened to the Skyrim OST? Have you heard of the High Elves? The Skyrim OST is in my daily playlist. The same with Hollow Knight and Oblivion. Actually, I love Oblivion soundtrack more than Skyrim's, but they're both wonderful. <clears throat> and also Guild Wars 2, same composer. All right. Bye, everyone. I'll see you in the next stream or in the next video. This coming weekend, this coming Friday, it depends on how I finish it. But this coming Friday, the next video will be either Genshin Impact or League of Legends champion themes. So either of the two, whichever I finish editing first. But in the meantime, have a great rest of your weekend. Or just have a great rest of your week. Bye, everyone. <laughs>